but are they indestructible from directed energy weapons? people still missing from the campfire north of San Francisco dropped to 249 on the Sunday. The Butt County Sheriff's Office said the number was revised down from 475 as people who were believed missing were found in shelters, staying in hotels or with friends, officials said, adding that many did not know they were on the list. Searchers will have a few more days of dry weather, but rain is forecast late on Tuesday. Are you curious to figure out what the government has planned for you? Then you need to watch Directed Untold Energy, the full version, the documentary, which goes into great detail about the directed energy weapons that was used in Malibu and in Northern California by the Paradise area. Still think that it's a wildfire? Still falling for the nomenclature that campfire destroyed everything? But your eyes won't deceive you when you see no fire anywhere. Trees, perfectly green on top, brown on the bottom, but houses and people turn to dust. Because they too have been incinerated. Don't worry, we'll get more into that at the end of this show. But yes, right here, President Trump has become increasingly enraged. Enraged about special counsel Robert Mueller's probe after a week in which his former... Wow, because he's enraged because the fake reality is permeating, is making its way through the cracks of the mental retardation of society. And just remember, everyone's constantly getting beat over the head with this garbage, so people are going to believe that it's real regardless of the fact, because, you know, if you tell a lie big enough and long enough, anyone will believe it. That's the whole point. They just write a majority of these stories just so they can have it for history book purposes, just so these stupid colleges can reference the New York, the Washington, all these stupid things that these fake articles... They transfer them onto tests, and then they reaffirm that reality through tests because, you know, multiple cho- you get that wrong. You're bad, like an animal. You're, lear- you're starting to understand things now, just like Limbaugh. How ridiculous. Metaphysically solves his soul as well. And is it fitting that we see paying tribute? Oh, yes. Pay, who else did, did people in the past pay tribute to? Oh, yeah, they paid tribute to false gods. Uh, they paid tribute to conquerors. They paid tribute to tyrants. They paid tribute to those who wish to dominate and control society. Notice how everyone is falling in line and paying pathetic tribute to such a pathetic human being. Notice how everyone, too, must also project that happy, feel-good reality. Yes, he's in heaven. He's, all, he's not burning in hell right now for all the crimes against humanity, his, not, his anti-human behavior. If you think that he was anti-God and, anti- and everything, imagine the full-on anti-human behavior that he really engaged in. How pathetic. How sick. How sick. Just as sick as Karl Rowe. Unbelievable. Look at this. Bush was the last of the greatest generation to serve in the Oval Office. Uh-uh. How disgusting. It, unbelievably sickening to see Karl Rowe here. Another anti-human, demonic figure. A husk of what was a human being. Projecting such disgusting miasma onto the plains. Of our existence for those to just breathe in 
so they too can be poisoned with this fakery. Uh, unbelievable. How sick that we must sit here day in and day out and watch the worship of such a demonic human husk that was once a man. He's not even a man. No, what would happen to if you were to call on one of those Limbaugh shows or Mark Levin after all their unfettered, you know, Reagan projections still? They can't get over, like, the Reagan mentality. They can't get over the Reagan era. Notice that. They must project anything and everything as, like, Reagan this and Reagan that. It's truly disgusting. But isn't it great? They also want Trump to be Reagan. Isn't it disgusting how they want to project Trump to be, like, the next Reagan or whatever just because that's their feelings? That's their opinion. Unbelievable. Just like, isn't it fun for everyone to start just talking about, you know, geoengineering and chemtrails? It's uh, like it's not a big deal. Like it, it didn't matter. But isn't it crazy how terraforming has begun? Yeah, terraforming. Global dimming. Where have I seen this before? Destruction. Earth. Oh, bad pollution. Un. We've seen this before from the prophecy that was known as the Animatrix. The spraying of the atmosphere with pollutants in order to dim the sun, and they say save the planet. It's called stratospheric aerosol injection, and there are now published science, uh, scientific studies that propose thousands of flights a year and releasing millions of tons of sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere. In this segment here on The Alex Jones Show, going to cover the science of what this causes, what happens. Let's talk about cause and effect from a scientific point of view. What happens when you release sulfur dioxide into the atmosphere at any altitude? It doesn't have to be the stratosphere. It could be uh, lower altitudes. What happens? Because you need to understand the effects of this and how this is a threat to humanity. Look at Mike Adams there committing a mind crime. Unbelievable threats against humanity. Uh, whistleblowing about the human centipede effect. Yes, you are living a human centipede every day with the human waste going in and out onto the food in your body, out your body. A human centipede reality. Just as we're soon be living the Animatrix reality. Just like those generals clapping when the end of humanity was happening. You don't think the robot takeover is coming? Well, here's another mind crime for you. Most people don't even want to be electricians because they don't even know how to bend or anything. That's one of the hardest parts for them to get by in those blocks is bending. But yet now you create a robot that can just bend anything and everything for you almost immediately and you remove that skill. You dwindle. That's what it becomes. It ultimately turning you into a slave. Because you're still going to work, but you're getting paid for nothing because all your skills have just been ripped away from you so they can just lower your job even more. Remember what I said about that construction management thing? Remember the article? They took someone with no skills, nothing whatsoever, and then boom. Just like how other people want to engage in this kind of behavior. Again, a lot of people think about how do they advance their own personal agenda. Which is fine as long as you promote the agenda of freedom. If those two work together, that's great. But if you try to promote your own agenda at the expense of other people's freedom, well, then you're a tyrant. You're an idiot, too, because all that does is create the breakdown of society. Hmm, no. Now, where have I heard that before? Oh, yes. I made a, a funny little video called InfoWars Used by Candace Owens, you know, just about a month ago. And what's funny about this video is, is I perfectly describe what all these people have been doing this whole entire time. That's what's crazy about this. See, so then when you put that kind of video out there and you see that it was made, you know, October 29th, 2018, there is something else that happened because, you know, let's think about this for a second. About who else do we know? That left about a month ago as well. Oh, I do. Oh, oh, last video uploaded. Last month. So let's see. Last month over there. Last month. Over. What if it would be curious to see when he stopped posting on here? Was it before or after I made that video? Do you think he's trying to do the same thing because he really saw how easy it was? 
for Candace Owens. I mean, look at that. And then same with Brandon Tatum, too. Both those people literally did nothing. And the moment they were on InfoWars, boom. Oh, now they're on Fox News. Now they're every... I mean, you even heard it in his own analysis. He doesn't want to be a proud boy so he can be neutral. Blah, 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 blah. You already know what that means. Just like this. I'm curious to hear from... You know, you and Owen as well, what those 15 reasons were why the red wave is inevitable. <laughs> uh, I mean, how, how well did that work out? But anyway, let's end the banter and let's go on with the real intelligence. So we were talking about directed energy weapons earlier. Well, yes, there are two types of conventional CBC now, I bet you're wondering what a CBC is. Well, a CBC was shown in that last slide over there, but, you know, I missed it. Unbelievable. But, yes, there are two types of conventional CBC. Tiled Arbiter CBC and Filed Arbiter CBC. In a Tiled Arbiter configuration, also known as a side-by-side -side configuration, mutually coherent beams from multiple emitters propagate parallel to each other to form a single beam with a small divergence angle in a large area. Yeah, this is how they rain Athena's spear from the heavens down on the earth and they play with God's magnifying glass and they rain down uh, directed energy weapons on to those poor California, all those houses all those people just think about it a lot of those car photos you know you see like that half beam circle in the driver just think about it. those people were sitting in traffic just trying to escape and then next thing you're directed energy weapons <laughs> zapped them away unbelievable never to be found again their poor targets just sitting there in traffic and next thing you know incinerated you still think that it's a California fire. Well, ask electricians. It's basically, why is it that utility pole burned? Why are all the phases still hanging? Why is the comm wire still there, if anything? Why is it that the fire jumped over that span there? Why is it that the forest didn't burn, but everyone's calling it a campfire slash forest? They can't even get themselves together. Notice how bodies turned to dust this doesn't happen in a normal forest fire could you imagine that they still i wanted to but you know i don't know if people would think that was gross but you go get those images of just you know people finding bodies after you know house fires or or tower fires you know they don't they don't get a a bag filled with dust after those fires you know there's still a lot of meat left to where they actually you know bring a stretcher and you know a normal uh what would one go? oh yeah a body bag not a uh, a dust bag in a handheld spatula so remember check out directed untold energy